We never gave up and here we are. Meet a club where the only operating TV crew consists of hardcore supporters. Where the use of fireworks is not against stadium regulation. Where the supporter groups are a major sponsor. A club that attracts more than a thousand fans at home, even though they play in the fifth tier of the National League structure. Austria Salzburg was founded in 1933 and rose to the top of not just Austrian, but also European football in the mid-90s, thereby placing itself alongside Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart as the pride of this UNESCO-protected city by the banks of the river Salzach. But in 2005, another local player entered the stage. It was like losing one of your best friends. It was just, yeah. You, you, you lost your team and that, that was terrible. The offices of Red Bull, the company behind the world famous energy drink, are situated in Fuschel am See, less than 20 miles from Salzburg. When Austria found themselves in desperate economic troubles, Red Bull seized the opportunity to help the local club and themselves. Having already established a strong link with individual sports, the company now decided to go for team sports. Red Bull bought Austria Salzburg and changed the team colours from violet to red and white and the name to Red Bull Salzburg. We all thought uh, we, we found a new uh, sponsor with a lot of money. So at the beginning we were quite, quite glad but then over the weeks and months we saw okay that's Red Bull is not a sponsor, Red Bull is a new owner. They, they used the club for for company marketing. They said it's a new club, this club has no history, this is now Red Bull and we don't have, we don't want to have to do anything with the history and that's what made me really angry because I think football is, yeah it's a thing about tradition. If you're a new club uh, you have to make a cut from the history uh, because it's not the club is not evaluated from the old club, it's a new club, it's a new owner, it's, uh, everything is new. The point of no return for me was there was uh, an offer from Red Bull. They said, okay, if you really want to play in violet and white, um, we, we, can, we can offer you that uh, the goalkeeper has violet socks. And that's what, that was all. So then we said, okay, we're gonna, do, we're gonna go our own way. And, up to now, we are pretty glad that we did it. More than four years have passed since the Red Bull takeover and the subsequent rebirth of Austria Salzburg. The disgruntled fans that turned their backs on Red Bull and formed a new club under the old name now run things themselves and the bitterness is gone. You can run your thing, you can make everything you want to do it and yeah it's it's a great story for us. You can't kill a, a club like this, it, was, it will always go on. If you have People who really trust and want to run a club, you will, it will work, like, you see it works. It certainly does. The new Viola team that started in the seventh tier of Austrian football in 2006 was promoted twice in its first two seasons of existence. And this season, they have taken another step on the long road back to the top division. There were times when I thought I lost, I lost my team, so I kind of lost everything. And but looking back, I, I didn't lose lose anything. I, I just won a lot of a lot of good things. <laughs> 